Blog Talk Radio. What it do, good people? Y'all know what time it is. Welcome to GFT Radio on blogtalkradio.com. Uh, it's your boy, Clint. I'd like to welcome my co-host. Uh, y'all want to say what's up? What up, though, people? This is your boy, Willie Styles. Hey, guys. It's good. Funny day. Yes, yes. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, the day is Thursday. Uh, we got a great show for y'all lined up. Uh, if you're listening now, you're on www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash GFT radio show. Uh, phone number, we're taking call-ins at any time. Phone number is 657-383-1155. Uh, we got a, we got a great show lined up. We're going to be talking about feminism and how it affects black women. And, you know, I came up with this topic because I've been hearing a lot lately from, from uh, I had a conversation with a friend of mine, and she's, she's not really into the feminism movement. You feel me? She, she felt like it doesn't help us or whatever. You feel me? I have my sister. I, I was trying to get her in on a phone call tonight. She's a feminist. You know, she's diehard all into it. But tonight we're going to, yeah, so tonight we're going to discuss it and discuss uh, the pros and cons. You know, I feel like the feminist movement had nothing to do with black women. Black women should not be involved. You feel me? It had nothing to do with us. It actually hurts us. But uh, let's hop into it. Yeah. You all ready? All right. All yeah. right. I'm ready. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> let's, let's just talk, talk about uh, feminism for a moment how it uh, started. It really started from the uh, woman suffrage movement. You know, woman was trying to get the white woman was trying to get the right to vote uh, in elections and also run for office. You know, and also hold on before I go any further. Another main reason why this came, this topic came about because feminism was the number one word of the year searched uh, according to Marion Webster. So feminism was the uh, number one word of the year. Oh wow! So, hmm. yeah. So, okay. So I, That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, and I think Google, <laughs> uh, for Google as well. So you know, it's been a hot topic. Okay. So back to uh, how it started. Started from the women's suffrage movement, uh, the women's re- liberation movement. You know, the white woman was trying to get the right to vote and run for elections and stuff. And from that, you know, you had the feminist movement. And what they did was they tried to incorporate the black woman, into the feminist movement. But, you know, black women were marginalized in it because it really didn't address all the concerns that black women were having. You know, black women were really going through something completely different, completely different from what white women uh, were going through, and white women was trying to use them. And so later, as, 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 as black women seeing that was going on, some of them, left it early on, and others, you know, continued with it. You know, my main thing going into it was, you know, as a black community, we, we, we were oppressed. We are, we, you know what I mean, especially back then. Right. We were oppressed as a people. Exactly. So, you know, we had no authority. We had no, especially black men, mm-hmm. you feel me? So it's like we had no real power over anything. You know, this is not our society. We're, we were trying to assimilate into their society. To this day, we're still trying to do that, and I don't know why. That's another conversation. But, we, you know, we're trying to live in their society that they built. So the, those white women, they had to beef with their own white men mm-hmm. who were controlling society, you know, mm-hmm. and, and dominating them, dominating them. We, on the other hand, were fighting against them. We were fighting to be free. You know, the black woman wasn't necessarily been fighting to be free from the black man. They should have been fighting to, free, fighting to be free from the white man and the white woman because they both, was, both of them were our oppressors. You know what I mean? So to join their movement, I felt like it hurt us, you know. Now, I understand a lot of, uh, you know, black women have it hard, real hard. You know what I mean? Uh, one, some may say harder than black men. You know, I, I say if the black woman has it hard, the black man has it hard. 
you know, we in this thing together. You feel know, me? We fight in the same fight. You know, I understand sexism. That's a different thing. You know, I think all more black men need to step up against sexism. You feel me? But that necessarily isn't all what feminism is about. You feel me? And, you know, at first I wanted to get Sunny in on it because she's the, you know, the black woman of this show. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to get her, you know what I mean, uh, I wanted to uh, throw it to her first and get her opinion. Well, see, um, I like I had to research it because I, I I was familiar with um, the um, the woman's separation about how like and I absolutely agree it didn't it wasn't for black women it was just for uh, white women to, to get the right to, to vote and do things that they wanted to do because you know back in the day they they had to be homemakers whereas it is a big difference between a black woman because a black woman was just trying to be a, a black woman and, and do shit that. Like regular people should do. Um, I do. Um, I, I do agree that it doesn't relate to our issues. And as I, I was reading a lot of the, um, I, I kind of took it back to kind of read a lot about what was going on and how like people were coming out and saying that how or people were expressing their feelings about how the feminist movement wasn't for them, um, for for us black women, and it wasn't. It was more so about them. And then when like. Even back in the day when black women were mentioning their, their, their issues that they had that they were trying to fight for, it was just like, no, 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 let's just fight for us to do this, 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 and this. And it was like, no, we're, we're suffering way more than you guys, and we, like, if we're going to be unified, we need to be unified as a whole, and you just want the same things that we want, you know? So I absolutely, like, as, as a black woman in America, I believe that we, we don't get the same like even in like even in the music industry, like even in business wise and stuff like that. Like, and if you're a strong black woman, you just a lot of people have a problem with you. Like, you can't be the lead person, or you're not seen, or you have to you have to prove yourself and just not let your work speak for you. Like, if you do good work because you're black, you got to do it ten times more. And on top of that, if you're a woman, it's even more. You see. So we 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 just want to be equal all all the way all all across the board. So I I get that and I understand that and I understand that how it doesn't relate to the the issues as of right now because most of the the um the, the, the white women that are are like feminists are worried about like birthing like um like um whether or not you can choose that abortion rights and stuff like that. Like they're they're worried about like things that matter, but like for black people, it's we we got real problems outside of that. Like, you know, that, 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 that we need to kind of overcome, and it's not like that. At this point, the feminist movement is not about that. It's about the general things that, like, really concern white people and not really black women. So we kind of left out. So we kind of got to get on our own path and make things happen for ourselves. Exactly, exactly. What did you want to chime in? True, true. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I – I think the the main thing that I gathered from you know the the movement itself and the situation with how not only how it started but you know, like you said the issues that it was tackling right and I think early on specifically early on um, it didn't like Sunny brought out that it didn't it didn't uh, uh, you know address a lot of the issues that we had socially, black people had socially, as well as uh, some of the deeper issues that black women were facing. Um, the, you know, not only the oppression of slavery, but also the issues that we were going through um, prior to the civil rights movement, right? So, you know, being able to vote was not was 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 not the the worst thing or being not being able to vote was not the worst thing that was happening to black women at that time mm-hmm. and, you know being underserved in the community being uh uh unable to uh find adequate work to take care of their families being able mm-hmm. uh to you know properly take care of their children or you know uh, uh probably uh, uh you know have have you know regular homes and that, things like that. That was more important, right? You know, you're, you're talking, there's there's so many other issues that were going on at that time. And um, so the so the the mandate of the, or the, you know, or the direction and the strategy of the suffragist movement as well as subsequent feminist movement activities, you know, were not addressing all those issues, right? You know, so the biggest thing was they were being underserved by the movement. And I think the 
black feminist movement as it was being proliferated and it was being uh, kind of built up. As far as I was reading, you know, a lot of that was happening, you know, immediately following or right around the same time. You know, some people even say that the black woman, you know, would have been kind of the precursor to it, yeah. you know, the, the struggle and the things that they were doing, the movements that they were trying to push through, things that they were trying to get done, that was even a precursor to a lot of the, the feminist movements, uh, uh, strategies. You know, those those items were being addressed because they had to address it themselves. They had to take care of it themselves. I mean, that you know, if you ask any black woman, they, that's what they have. That's what they you know have to do. They have to you know they they can't wait for somebody else to do it because a lot of a lot of people aren't looking at their issues, and so they have exactly. to do it themselves. And so that's what they've done. So I think it's you know it, it's it's the main thing is a is a problem of being underserved by the mission, and the mission didn't you know really affect them or not 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 affect them but you know what I mean it didn't really address their complete needs and it didn't address their specific needs either so you know there's like you said it was it was really specifically for white women and their ability to bring themselves up to you know a, a, a similar level of white men you know in regardless to the fact that we were still considered not property at that time but we were we were considered less than men still you know, we okay. still didn't have equal rights. We were still in the South. There was still, you know, uh, unspoken segregation. And then there was laws to, to create the, you know, the segregation um, by laws. And, you know, they didn't, they didn't address those issues. They didn't, you know, directly fight those issues early on, you know. So you didn't see a lot of that happening until around the time of the uh, civil rights movement. But you're, you're talking that's 40, 50, you know, years later. So, no, I take that back. It was uh, 60 or 70 years later. So, you know, there was, there was a definitely a, a gap there in terms of what they were doing. Definitely, definitely. My Also, my take on it, one thing about the feminist movement going on back then is, you know, those white women felt like they had more of a right to vote than the black men. You understand? Mm-hmm. So that was one of their things. Mm-hmm. That alone should tell you, that that initial that feminist movement was not for us, was not for uh for the benefit of the black community, so to speak, you mm-hmm. know. And I feel like you know the, the the feminists even today, like I feel like it creates a divide in the black in, in the black community, so to speak. Because like I said, you know, who are you fighting against? You know, you're not. It's like today. You know, we did a show on this the divide between the black man and the black woman. You know, we did, we talked about this. We did a previous. It's like it, we're we're at war with ourselves, mm-hmm. and I feel like that has a lot to do with it. You know, because the circumstances that were created that we had to live in, you know, it created so much animosity between us. You know, the black woman was, you know, they're looking for somebody to to defend them, to help them, to support them. And yet, you know, the black man was beaten down to a point to where we couldn't help ourselves. You know, it was like I mean, it was a lot very. Of that come with the, the demise of the, the the family. Like I, I remember reading, I'm um, going to this church series, and like, and they were talking about how the devil interceded in 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 in, 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 in into the black family, whereas it broke us down. Women are women had to learn to be self sufficient and do the the parenting. So. When you get like as as it now like and like up, up until current and hopefully well not hopefully it'll let it'll calm down sooner but you got a lot of families that are broken you got dads not taking care of kids moms not taking care of kids so so the family dynamic is messed up that's why like I, I think that's contributing contributing that to us being so at war with each other that was just but that's my point that like that was systematically done to us yeah I, 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 point, I agree. At one point, the, the black family was strong. Yeah. You feel me? Like, people forget that. Like, the black family was strong. We didn't have these issues until, yeah. like you said, they intersected the end of our, you know, they seen how strong we were and how powerful we were together. So they yeah, said, you know what, well, we have to do we have to do something to, 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 you know, to build a divide between them, so to speak. You know, like the uh, the queen, Shereza Ali, I had posted her. On our uh, on our Instagram, and also I posted a quote on our website, gftradio.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
where she was talking about the welfare program. You know, they came in and told the black woman that, huh, we can give you, you can take care of yourself. You can have your own money, all of this. But, you know, the black man can't be, you know, he can't live with you. But we'll give you this, and you can take care of yourself. You know, that was part of it. You know, that came in and created the divide. You feel me? Meanwhile, you know, that's not exactly how they were living on their end. But they told us that's how we had to live. You know, mm-hmm. and even even to this day, you see you see in the 80s, you feel me, even when, you know, during the civil rights, you know, we getting strong, black power this, black power that, what happened? Here come the drugs. Here come crack mm-hmm. cocaine. You feel me? Right. And, 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 it, and it creates that divide. So my thing is the black feminist is, you know, like when I be talking to my sister, you know, we was going, like she – she be having a beef with black men. I'm like, you know, you can have a beef with a particular black man or a, a particular group that you feel like is not for you. Because I do believe sexism, like me and Willie touched on this last week. Like, you know what I mean? That's something we have to correct in our community. Yeah. You know, but that's but that's the attitude that we got from a from society, a society that actually we have no control over. You feel me? That we we are trying. I mean, like we are a part of. Like we didn't create create nothing here in society. You know what I mean? We're just being a part of it. So yeah. and we have to and we learn from them, so to speak. You know what I mean? Right. So Wait, hold on, hold on. We have a caller. Oh yes, please. Hold on. Call you on the air. Greetings. How you guys doing? Hey. Hello. Hello. How you doing? What's your name? I'm doing just fine. My name is Sapphire, and I, I want to respond to your statement if I can. Do you mind? No, 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 please. That's why we want you to want all opinions. Okay. All opinions are welcome. Okay. Now, firstly, I want to say this. In your invite, I I, I saw the narrative that Feminism has separated the black man and woman, and I'm hearing you speak, and you say that it destroyed the black family unit. And in the narrative, it says that white feminism marginalizes, or in, I'm using my own words here, or does really does nothing uh, for the black woman. You know, they talk about all that intersexuality and or whatever, and it, it don't yeah. amount to a hill of beans. Now, I want you to know I agree with you straightly as it relates to feminism, white feminism. That's a white female agency. And, no, it does not do anything for the liberty and upper mobility of black women. Now, let's get that out of the way. But I, I want to tell you this, and I'm telling you strictly from an academic standpoint, a well-organized lie will beat a dis it will be a, a or unorganized truth. I'm stumbling all over this, but what I'm saying is the well organized lie is that feminism broke up the black family. Let me tell you what has created the breach, because there is one now. You're right. There is a divide between black men and black women. But it does not come from feminism because the most we have ever seen of black women and feminism is right now. In the past, mm-hmm. what what people talk about is a couple of feminists that white women were able to Jedi mind trick into walking with them, doing things with them, and you saw a, a propaganda campaign. See, because all of us, you can talk to as many people and do this assignment. Ask people, was your mom a feminist? Do you know any feminists? When we ask these questions, most brothers don't even know feminists. They know women who who said that they were feminists when they were in college. They get out of college. They're not even trying to hear about that anymore. But as it relates to the civil rights movement, let me tell you what broke the civil rights movement down. The white man sent in the white woman, and white women began having sexual relationships with black men while black women were out on the streets, you know, in the dirty South, you know, trying to combat racism, holding up posters, getting bitten by dogs, and for them to see 
that kind of disloyalty, it sort of put a damper on things. Now, now that's the true reason right there. See, people are not going to tell you about that. As it relates to the black family, what, what I believe what really tore the black family down is that firstly in the 50s and 60s and 70s, there was a heron epidemic in the black community. We don't talk about that. Mm-hmm. Yep. They called it the widow maker. In New York, it was horrible. Do you hear me? When they talk about Bumpy Johnson, mm-hmm. they don't talk about even though he was, he after he was in jail or, and gone, that heron epidemic was so strong in Harlem, New York, Chicago, all of the major black uh, hubs and communities were inundated with heroin. So then we get a short reprieve, and then here comes crack. And then here comes gangster Uh rap. Bitch, better have my money Mm -hmm. and all this stuff. So now what you have is you have, first of all, we live in a patriarchal culture that is dominated by the white man. And and you Uh might not like what I'm going to say here, but here's the black woman's position. You can't fight him, but you want to fight me. See, that's, that's what she's angry about you you know the black man will get all up in the black woman's face about weave about weight you know about makeup and And he will not challenge he will not challenge that white man so what the sisters are saying is look if you can't step to the white man don't even try to step to me and that's what they're that's why they're looking at you sideways these women are not feminists I, i don't the feminists that i do see are white and guess what they have biracial children by black men. The black man has a lot to answer for, and he has got to stop buying into this See, propaganda. So, so I just wanted to, to, okay, to let I, you I like, know I, that. I, now, I agree with a lot with you. I, I, basically, everything that you just said, I, we, we mentioned how the drug epidemic and everything. But see, the issue I have with the, with the, uh, with the fact that the black man had didn't step up to the white to the white man, you know, I really, really have an issue with that because you go back in history and you can look at all the black men who sacrificed their life right along with the black woman for the uh, liberation and uplifting of the black community. So, you know, to me, right. that's false. To me, I no, feel no, like... No. But, to me, I feel like... Hold on, let me finish. To me, I feel like you feel me? It, responsibility has to be taken on both sides. This blame game that we're getting into in this generation is really becoming an issue. You feel me? We have to you have to take accountability on each side because you know just as much as women can say, "Well, the black man always coming at the black woman," we can say the black woman always coming at the black man as well. You know, it can go both ways. That gets us nowhere. That gets us absolutely nowhere because, it, it, you're right. you know, it's, it's blame to go around on all sides just as much. No yeah. one's worse than the other. You feel me? I always say as a man, a man has to step up. And, and, and since he's the leader, he always has to take more responsibility in any situation. So if that's the way you're going with it, I can definitely agree there. But to say that, uh, okay, but wait you know, minute. the majority you, you... of black men – the majority of black men go at black women like that, like nah, because I I celebrate the black woman all the time. <laughs> you feel me? But the black woman you. has raised black men. But, but that's can the majority I show you of. This? I, I can go. Can I, can I show go you out right now and tell you? Go ahead. I want to show you something, and and I'm going to show you why why there's a breach and a big divide. Now you said for civil rights they fought side by side. Now that was then. And as a unit, we were trying to get from under the yoke and the oppression of the white man. Now, hold up. So then let's come this day forward. Now, you remember black men were swinging from trees. They were being hung. We had cities burned down because the white woman would say, uh-huh. he raped me. He touched me. He looked at me. So let's come, let's come forward in this day. All of that bloodshed and the black man is the number one man laid up with the white woman. So then, so we can't use that stick. We fought together for civil rights. Did, did we fight so that the black man could, you know, bend the, black, bend the white woman over? 
No, sir, we did not. And now I said to you, we live in a patriarchal culture. The white man runs this culture, make no mistake. So you can't tell the black woman, well, we need to do this side by side. If this is, if, if this is a man's world and this is a patriarchal culture and you're supposed to be the leader, don't be getting mad at her when you're supposed to do that. So when you say, when you say to the black woman, I'm going to give you a perfect example. A lot of black men will say, well, black women are, you know, they have bad attitudes. You know, they talk loud and all this, you know, always embarrassing somebody. But let that black man go to jail or get beat over the head by the police. He want her to come in talking loud, you know, getting people in check. So you got you to gotta pick your battles with the black woman. Everything she do can't be wrong. And like I, just, I said, this is this. a male-dominated where do you, culture. Where do you get that don't information expect her from? To where do you get that information from? Intense because like, study like me and, and my, research. Me, me and my friend was just having a me and my friend was just having a discussion, you know, and we were saying, you know, we were basically talking about this, and you know, it was an article written by this homosexual black man, and he said the heterosexual black man is the white man in the community. You feel me? And I'm like, you know, was people agreeing with this? I was like, first of all, like, that's my issue. It's like, who are y'all listening to? You feel me? If you're listening and believing, you know, what some dude, what some dude who has, who obviously has self hatred for himself, you know, and that doesn't just because he's homosexual. I'm just talking about any black man that has self hatred for himself, and y'all taking him serious, and y'all taking his opinion uh, as, as truth. As for every black man, that's a problem. You know, I was I'm having this uh, argument his... with this. Uh, but see, but see, but what I'm trying to tell you is, you're, you're, you, you, when I told you there are black men, or I don't think that way, you said, that's you. I mean, I'm telling you, it's not just me. I have plenty of friends who think just like me. But you feel me? When we speak and when we tell black women this certain and it's not all black women, but to certain type of black women, it's like my sister, because I started to show up, and you said, do we know any feminists? Like my sister is a stone cold. She considers herself a feminist, one of my sisters. You know what I mean? Trisha, I wish she would call it. You feel me? <laughs> she feel like she a feminist. You know what I mean? I'm going to call her out because this is how she feel. Me and her have this debate. I love her. She, she, you know, I love my sister. My, she, but that's what she considers herself. But my point is, you know, it was a debate. It was this picture of a dark-skinned black woman. You know, you know, she was like, it was like a model. And the picture was beautiful, you know. So it got a lot of likes. And black dude, a black man, got on there and said, it's a shame that the, the only reason she getting likes is because she half naked, not because y'all really think she's beautiful. And I was like, hold on, bro. I was like, that's not that's not true. You know, as a lot of us think that's beautiful, she is beautiful as she is. You know what I mean? Why would you go there? And then it was other black women agreeing with him. And I said, that's the problem right there. Y'all giving this clown validation, and he's reinforcing a negative thought in your mind that y'all already have of the majority of us when the majority of us really don't think that way. I guarantee you got to... I'm, talk, I'm doing a lot of talking, but I'm pretty sure Willie, another black man on this line, could co-sign most of the stuff I'm saying. So, so let me let me let me let me step in real quick because because uh, you know the, the biggest thing that I mean actually a lot of people do. I mean it's not the two of you. It's not you know just people you know in general. It, there's a lot of people who do this. The problem is we have a lot of generalizations, right? Exactly. You know we generalize people and we we put people in buckets, right? You know, the black man does this, the black woman does that, you know, um, you know, there's you know, there's there's this perpetuation of the notion that, you know, we 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 did something together and now that we're not to, now we're not doing this together and it's because of A, B and C. But the thing is is that's not across the board for every individual, right? And and you can't even say it's across the board for a, a mass majority because you don't have real numbers to support your claim or your cause. So that's the one thing that I think 
does tear people down, does tear down these movements. And, and it's, it's written and it's, it's documented everywhere that a lot of the issues that come down to it, it comes down to people generalizing and not sharing, having a shared goal in mind, right? So how do you get a shared goal in mind? That's the question. That's always has been the question. And this is, and this is always my argument against, one, against black people, two against Democrats, three against any group that decides any large mass, you know, group that's that's based on color or religion or anything like that, that decides that they're, they're, they're going to do something, but they can't figure out how to do it. It's because you don't have a shared goal in mind and you don't back each other up on these visions. The The thing is, is look at the Republicans, right? I'm, a, I'm I, I don't, I don't side with the Republicans or anything, but I, this is what I respect about Republicans. No matter what the agenda is, the, the agenda could be full of falsehoods. It could be full of uh, it could be full of BS. It could be full of every every right. I mean every lie in the world. But they will ride or die for right. each other on that agenda. They will not falter. They won't step aside. They will not let you change their mind. If if President Cheeto said, look. You know, the sky is green because I said so, and then here's my declaration of the green sky. Those Republicans will jump in line and jump off that roof with him on that. They will not care because the thing is, is they share the same goal, and they will ride for it. We don't do that. We, we don't, you know. Uh, both of you made a good point earlier about uh, the, the problem of um, – well, actually, I think Sapphire, her, her main point was that, you know, there was this this issue of you know we we at one point you know like sixty years ago we had civil rights movement right and after a while that dissolved right why did it resolve you know we 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 surmise that it's 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 drugs in the community um, there there was there was this we won attitude by certain people um, and I'm gonna get back to that in one second and then there's this issue of you know as the generation flips. You know, you have people who don't share, not even not sharing the same ideas, but you have this this general this uh, generational change that happens when parents do one thing, but then they don't raise their kids to do that thing, right? So you have them out there, the parents out there fighting, dying in the struggle, but they don't raise their kids to die in the struggle because they're trying to protect their children. You know. What they should do in, 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 in a way, but the thing is the kids come up and now they don't share that same dream or they don't share that same goal in mind, right? So the thing is, is that you have all these different variables that they come into play. But then when when things start to really fall apart, then it's like, well, what happened? You know, the question is what happened? And the the point I'm going to get back to with Sapphire, what she said is, you know, from her perspective, you have these black men who decided that they're going to now lay up with white women. And then I think, Clint, you mentioned that you have this, this divide between different groups and all this kind of stuff, uh, you know. And then, you know, we all know that different groups that made decisions on how they were going to strategize to get to, you know, get to our, our uh, supposed freedom or, or our, our, our way of, our better way of life, you know. So you have Black Panther saying, let's, you know, let's, mm-hmm. let's do things one way. You had uh, uh, NAACP say let's do things a different way. You had uh, uh, these other, you know, the, the the political action groups saying let's go this route. So everybody started to kind of venture out on their own and do their own thing. Everybody had their own opinion. That's where the problem became. You know, I mean, even when Martin Luther King was around, everybody wasn't riding for Martin Luther King. He yeah. had a good majority of people riding for him. But not everybody was going the same direction. I mean, look at Malcolm X and, and the Nation of Islam. Look at uh, uh, what's his name, Marcus Garvey and his group. Look at even the SCLC had a, a different agenda than Martin Luther King, and he was part of the SCLC. So the thing is, is that all these different people, all these different groups, everybody had their own way of doing things. The general the, the problem with the generalizations is, is that when you start tagging people and saying that. This was this is what you did wrong, as a people. When it doesn't apply to everybody, it, exactly. it creates animosity. You know, it creates a, 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 a the burden of proof, right? Because you know, saying that you know, just because I'm a successful black man, that I must be 
dating white women, but it's not true for me. I don't. I don't. But it has nothing to do with them being white. It's just the fact that I just don't in general, you know. But now I got to have a burden of proof on me. So I got to say, I got to step out and say, no, no, blah, blah, blah. This, that. Why do I have to go through that, you know, on top of anybody else that is, is, is trying to be involved in a movement, right? There's that's where I think a lot of the problem is. And then another big issue, like Clint mentioned, is the blame game. You know, we spend so much time blaming each other for what went wrong instead of trying to figure out what to do right. That's the huge, that's the biggest problem I think we have as a community. But here's my problem. Is that everybody. Here's, 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 my, here's my problem to, to kind of piggyback off what you were saying, William, not necessarily, but and the more, more important of what Sapphire said. Here, here's my issue with, with, like, I agree with, with 95% of what you said. Um, um, but my, my problem is it doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. For, for, this is how I feel personally. It doesn't matter who the black man is sleeping with. I don't care. You can be black, sleep with somebody white, because that's who you're attracted to, that's who you love. Who cares? If you still stand up for black rights, I don't see that you, like, I wouldn't feel any, any type of way that you're speaking on black rights if you're dating somebody that's just a bit different race. It shouldn't matter because at the end of the oh, day, totally if that's... Huh? I totally disagree. Well, I don't. I don't mean, like, but see, that's why I don't get, like, I don't I don't get that point because, and it's, it's the same, I mean, like, the same way I feel about how people say if somebody's biracial that they really can't see for black people because they have white. Like, it does I don't understand that. Or maybe I'm just being... I'm just Can I ask you a question? Yeah, I got a problem with that, too. I, I, I got a problem with that, too. Her, I want to ask her a question real quickly, if I can. If I wonder if you understand the dynamics yeah, of that, because... Because here's the psychology behind that. And we all know this. Ever you enter into a conjugal relationship with, and whoever you sleep with and lay down with at night in that conjugal relationship, it is them you are going to care for and see about the business of taking care of them and their livelihood during the day. So if you are married to a white woman, yes, the, the black man should be able to love whoever he wants. I never said successful black men are all with white women. I never said that. But I'm saying he that successful black man should be able to be with whoever he wants. Now, here's where the dichotomy comes in. Now, when he's with white people and we're having issues with them and we're trying to get things solved, so then he comes over here awesome. with us. That creates a problem because then you bring your white woman and then we've got this issue where they're beating us over the head and killing us. And here she is, the woman who gives birth to the man that's killing us. You've got to see how that doesn't work. This is, you know what our problem is? I mean, is? I, I understand the conflict, we, we but can, I just, I, I mean, I, yeah. I, okay, I don't, well, I don't, I'm, I'm going to let thing, that go. Though. This is the thing. If, if, if my, if, if my, well, well, this is my thing. If my, if, if my, if my focus is the upliftment of my community, Regardless of who I'm with, if 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 that person is not controlling what I'm doing, if they're not if they're not directing what I'm doing, then I don't see why there should be an issue of that. If I understand the problem, thing is is that some people who were with some black men who are with black women don't understand the problem. Some black women that are with black men don't understand the problem. So I, that's why I don't, that's why I don't understand is the thing is, 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 is where's the issue at? Is it not understanding the problem or is it just, you don't want to see them with a white woman? That's my thing is I, I feel no, like you know what? when the argument what comes, you said about the argument is more about, no. So the thing is, is that's, but hold on one second. The, the thing is, is that if you, if you have an understanding of the issue and you have a solution or you want to be a part of the solution, let that person speak or let that person participate. Don't exclude them just because they made a choice that you wouldn't make. Thing is, is that you're probably with a person they wouldn't be with. Like you might say, I like strong Afrocentric men. They're like, I wouldn't be with an Afrocentric person, blah, 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 blah. Af you know, Africans do this and blah, blah. You know, so everybody's got their own preferences. You, you're excluding people because they made a choice that you personally wouldn't make. That's another problem. We can't control people's life from end to end. That's another reason why we can't get things done because we spend too much time bickering about stuff that don't matter. That See, I don't, think, I don't think that's what she's saying. I, 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 I got you, but... 
system. Uh, okay, but can I'm I tell a, him this quickly? I, I want to let him know. I, I want to let him know that what you said about Republicans. I'm shocked that you said that about Republicans, because that is the identity of white people. I don't care how wrong they are; they stick together on it. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you this: when they have meetings about what to do about who they call so-called minorities, I'm talking about serious meetings that have to do with controlling your economics, your health, your even your relationships. You are not allowed. The problem that the black community has is infiltration. We're too childlike. Everybody's our friend. But you know what? You cannot go in their high places talking about, well, no matter who I'm married to, I should be able to come in here. We've got the same focus. No, they're going to tell you to get your ass up out of here. You're going to be escorted out. As a matter of fact, you won't even find where the meeting is. That's our problem. We're too gullible, too friendly, and too childlike. We need critical thinking, firstly. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to yield the mic. If cannot learn to do critical thinking and learn and understand what our position is in this culture, we, we will not be here. We already fractured. Okay, we already have all the guns blazing against us, and then we got to deal with uh, interracial relationships, unemployment, police brutality. You, you understand what I'm saying? Low income, childless, child, fatherless children. But, we cannot afford to is, deal what, with all what, of this what, stuff. What, what, let, me, let, me, let me jump in real quick. Let me jump in real quick. Let me jump in real quick because I, I, I want to piggyback off what Sapphire was saying. Uh, Dr. Umar said something to me, said not to me, but he was on a Roland Martin show. He was on a Roland Martin. It, it, it meant so much to me when he said it. You feel me? And first of all, let me, let me clear the air because one thing Clint not is a hypocrite. You feel me? I want y'all to look at my, me as, as a whole. I dated a white girl before. You feel me? Dated a white girl. She said, and it didn't work because one thing she said to me turned me off. And she was like, uh, I don't date white boys, you know, white boys corny and stuff like that. So, I'm, so you know, I, I, I looked at her sideways immediately when she said that to me. Because am I like some type of game, some type of toy to her, some type of adventure? You feel me? That's when in my mind, because I used to be just like, oh, man, we should be able to date whoever. I like them all. I love all. I love women. I want all women. I'm not like that no more. I mean, I mean, but I you understand that? But you do understand that not all white girls think that way. I, but, but right. I, I, I understand. I understand. That. That's why okay. we get to I my point. Want, I just want to say that. Yes. Yeah, but but that right. doesn't apply. That don't apply to me because I already understood that. What I'm saying is, when Dr. Umar said the greatest thing a black man could do for the black community is commit to the black family, and that's a, and that's a hundred percent true. <laughs> Excuse me, because you know, like the sister Sapphire just said, we're so fractured. We're so fractured, you know. We're at the bottom. So the best, only thing we can really do is stick together and build together. It's not necessarily. It's like she made a good point. It's like because because it, it ain't just black man dating white woman. It's white is is black woman dating white man too. There's a lot yeah. of that going on too. You feel me? Right, it, so, it is. That's I mean. That's the thing is that it's not just it's not just black men, but men, white women. Don't, don't yeah, get it twisted. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like no, no. If, you if get I, it twisted. You issue, know it's majority black men. I, hold on. We know that. No, nah, it's not the majority. It, it's equal. I, I know more. It's white. not the majority, though. No. Yeah, it's I know more. I know more. more white, I know more yeah. black women dating white men than I know more black men dating white women. That's a fact. Yeah, I know I'm a couple not, black girls dating black men. Um, dating. Um, this this thing is bigger yeah, than the people that you all but know. Like, like, this is bigger is, than the people this, you though. all know. My point is this though. Yeah, but my point is this though. It's like like you said, if we have an issue. You feel me? Who is that? You know, and I'm fighting for black rights, and I'm fighting for you know, black empowerment, how can I trust him, that white man? You feel me? How can I trust him? Because at the, cause at the same time, I'm looking at him in his face, and I'm telling him, like, listen, bro, I'm trying to destroy your privilege. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to take your privilege from you. I don't care if you're not racist, but you're systematically, you're privileged because of this racism. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? 
And I'm trying to destroy that. I'm trying to destroy that. So, I, so all that privilege, all that whatever you think you have, I want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's when I, when, when I tell you all that line is drawn, that line is drawn with me. Whether I'm right, I'm not saying I'm 100% right. You, you understand? But what I'm saying, that, like, that's, that's how I see it. You see, that line is drawn. So whether it's a white woman, white man, I'm looking at them in, in their face. I'm telling you, I don't respect your privilege. I want to destroy your privilege. So if I'm telling them that and you're bringing them around me, how can I fully trust them? You feel me? It's not, well, I'm not you saying trust, you can't you, love. Well, how can you trust any? I, I'm well, not how can you, you trust any? Well, how can you trust anybody? My thing is this: is that if, okay, like I said, this is this is my thing. I'm 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 gonna just put it this way. I'm gonna just put it this way. The thing is, I I I, I, I love the commitment. I, I I I would I would appreciate everybody to think that way in a way. You know, I mean, I. I, I'm I'm the type of person I'm not going to down somebody for choices they make because I know what kind of world we live in. But this is my thing. The um, what I mean by want the the commitment the, the commitment to black family, right? Like you said, like Dr. Umar said, if the, if the black man can commit to the black family, that'd be the greatest thing that ever happened. The thing is, is that we do need that because it, we can see that eventually, and we even see it in certain other cultures. Eventually, you will you'll kill out a race because. Of the of the interracial thing going on, right? Um, mm-hmm. I can't remember what country it is, but there's a South American country where the the population is so mixed that you almost don't have any purebred, you know, of one particular race anymore because, or, or not even race, it's, it's their culture. You don't even have that anymore because they've intermixed with with other countries and other peoples and all that kind of thing. So they've lost a lot of that, right? So uh, anyway. But this is the thing. The, the 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 fact the fact of the matter is, we live in a world where people date interracially. You're not going to change that. I promise you that. I promise you that 100. percent You're never going to change that. No matter how much you pray about it. Well, no I'm not how trying much to change it. I'm just it. trying to. You know, no, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, listen. They can't scream. I'm not going to pray about it. I'm not trying to change my point. Give me one second. Give me one second. No, 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 listen, listen. No, you, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second. Doesn't have nothing to do with what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, well, you, you can date who you want. You just can't come to me telling me black power, you with this black power movement over okay, here with well, me. Okay, well, listen. Okay, well, give me one second. Point. We, right, we heard that. We heard that. And, and no, that's what I'm talking that. about. No, this is the problem. No, this is, this is the problem is that uh, th- this is what I'm directly talking about. Is what you're saying is don't come to me with that or I can't trust you or don't be a part of the movement or you can't lead or you can't do this, you can't do that. Thing is, we live in a world where you're not going to change people's personal choices. You're not. So if, but the thing is, if a personal choice that they want to make is to, you know, reduce their privilege or progress the, the, the movement or help their people regardless of who they're dating, let them. Why exclude them? Why create this divide? Why create this animosity with people? Because they're making personal choices that you wouldn't make. That's what I'm saying. Thing is, is that we all don't agree on the end game. Your your end game, as far as I'm, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly, is you want uh, separation, right? Right, Clint? No, I want I, I want that privilege gone. I want that. That's no, no, I, you, but, but no, no. See, but, but I'm saying that separation the, the, of what? The, the, because you, you, you say you don't want black people to be uh, in white, conforming to white to the white man's world, right? Like yeah, you don't well, want them to be to in the white. We should have to assimilate. We should exactly. Okay. So yeah. take care of ourselves. Right. So 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 I mean I don't know if you if you're going as far as like uh, Minister Farrakhan is going, but Minister Farrakhan says basically that you know the black man should be completely separate from the white man. We should have our own nation. We should have our own. Land, we should have our own not possible. thing going That's on, not right? possible. Um, economy, everything. Well, he, he's, he, he's convinced it is, and he's convinced a lot of people that it is, that it's possible. And, and he's trying to build that right now with a lot of people. No, he, so the thing is, can is I that, say this? I believe he's well, no, no, listen, listen, just one, just one, just one second. Just one, hold on one second, guys. One, one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Let me finish my thought, please. All right, so the, the thing is, is that there's a lot of people with a lot of ideas. 
The thing is, a lot of people that want to do a lot of things. This all I'm saying is, let's not create divide and and, and animosity between the people who share your ideas or who share your 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 uh, struggle, but have taken a different route to 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 get away from it, or who want to help because they feel like your movement or your strategy is the right strategy. The thing is, is that you will probably do better with all the help you can get than to continue to push everybody away. That's all I'm saying. So well, but the thing is, if that's, if that's you? what you want to do, just keep that in mind, that you're cre- that's what you're creating. You may I not care. Know, okay. That help is in the past, but that's all we ever did. But, that's there, there all you we go. ever did there was allow go. others to come in and help There us. you go. You I was trying me? to get How in there. Ever, uh, I want to show. I want to show. Everything that happened in the South no, only no. happened because the white man was a part of it. Hands down. Don't, Wait don't a minute. tell me that only black Can people I show you this? created. I want to show you something. That when you think, listen to me. When you go back, before we entered the civil rights movement, what a lot of us are failing to realize is that we had our own economy. We had our own black doctors. We had our own shoemakers. We had our people, our own cleaners, our own well, we know that. clothing. We all know that. We, we, know had, that we had our own. Well, hold up now. What did Dr. King say? He said, I hope I'm not leading my people into a burning house because he knew that That's wasn't right. the answer. Now, wait, here's today in 2017, we no longer have that economic base. We no longer have it. Do you understand that? We no longer know how to make our own shoes. We no longer make our own clothes and our own soap. We no longer make our own things, build our own houses. You need to understand the seriousness behind that, okay? And when you talk about creating animosity, I'm not, I'm not trying to create animosity. I've told you every black man and woman should be able to date, marry, uh, procreate with whoever they want. I'm simply saying you're talking about this as though you don't understand the white man's trick. He will. He can lay down with somebody, but you're not getting ready to get into his secret high places. You're not getting ready to get the key or the access I'm not trying, to how I, he I controls people. I'm not saying they need people. to be in their secret high places. I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying if we're dragging him down, people, trotting, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Why should we allow others to understand how we're trying to build ourselves up? That's not intelligent. And the last thing I want to say is this: if you understand that. We are not trying to create animosity. We're simply trying to say we can't afford all this extra baggage, okay? You're talking about cultures that are amalgamating, and so they don't have those problems. No, that's not true, sir. Those those cultures that have amalgamated are third world and raggedy as hell. But I want to bring your attention to Libya, enslaving Nigerians, selling them on Facebook. They're both Muslims. There are Arabs who marry black folk, but they're still enslaving right. Africans, and, not and Mexicans, they, they, they not Asians. They they're enslaving them. Africans. So I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of hearing black people mm-hmm. play this color game. We all colored folk. Yeah, everybody's colored folk when they want to get something, but when they get to the bank and when they get where they need to go, they are what they say they are. They're not colored anymore. They got a whole different nationality. And we look around, we still holding the bag. That's our problem, thinking like children. Thinking like children. Everybody else know the game but us. Trying to be friends with everybody. I'm not saying, I don't dislike or hate anyone. That cool by y'all not going to (laughs) work. That cool by y'all not going to work. That's why you got respect. Look at at the Chinese. You feel me? For the most part. Uh, We we so busy busy looking at everybody else, we ain't doing nothing for ourselves. That's all. you, You can learn. You can definitely learn from your enemy. That's the art of war. That's right. when you always know your enemy. You feel me? Just as much as you know. No, your no, enemy. I, no, I, I'm, all, I'm, I'm all for that. But if, if we're not using it, <laughs> then what's the point? That's, but that's, 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 that's the point. But, but listen to, make. to what he said. Look at how they move. He it's said like that, over there in China. Exactly. It's, it's, mm-hmm. go ahead. Yeah, I mean they, they not all, they not with that mix. You feel me? That is shown. And over the here. It is what about over here? <laughs> they do Chinese do not yeah, participate in here. politics. But guess what? They have substantial nope. holdings in America. They don't give a damn about voting, but guess what? They got 
businesses in every black neighborhood throughout America. They not you don't hit, they don't talk too much. They don't enter racial date. But guess what? When they tell these people they want something done, it gets done because what? Because they have real estate. They have an economic base. And all I'm saying is if 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 we can we don't have to hate somebody to love ourselves and to get ourselves together. The Asian man is not kumbaya, well, but you don't beat him over his head. For. I don't know, but that's but, but here's the but that, I mean, but that's 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 what it sounds like you want to happen though, because that's what the, that's what the, the Chinese do, and that's what certain other cultures do. They don't they don't interracial date because they don't like other races. They're racist. That's what the definition is. Of racial it, is it working is. for them though? Answer me this question: Is it working for them? Yes, it's working for it. Yeah. Okay, then I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't know. I mean, that's all I want. I'm, I'm done. No, I'm done. No, but no, you just said that you just said, you just said, you just contradicted yourself. So that's what I'm saying. No, yeah. I know exactly yeah. what really, I said. What I'm trying to get yeah. you to yeah. see so I, I pay attention. You know me. I pay attention. Yeah. I pay attention. Yeah. I'll tell you. No, you, you, so you're being no. us. Okay, I'm saying that we're discriminating. Let's get away from the that subject because that's, yeah. that's what I'm gonna say about that. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. About. I don't see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I, listen, thank you. I don't thank see you. nothing wrong thank with you. people being racist. You feel me? Exactly. Cause, exactly. Cause, cause, Just, cause, you're right. You know what I mean? What? Like I said, you don't have to. Don't nobody have to agree with me. Like I said, my opinion exactly. is not. It does not represent GFT Radio Show. It represents Clinton <laughs> Hayward Wilson Jr. You feel me? Oh, 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 that was in 1983. They represent me soon. <laughs> and I am a listen. I am a proud racist, bro. I, I feel like right. my, my I feel like my black people are superior to than everybody. You feel me? Mm. I don't believe in yes, equality. Sir. That is but me. Here's, here's the thing. Me? I just want to say that me? that is me. You feel me? So when it comes down to the come down, right. you know what side I'm on. Don't even ask me. Mm. <laughs> Don't even ask me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, but see, here's 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 where like and and to get to what Sapphire was saying about how we we don't have um black doctors. You know, we 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 missing like a lot of the stuff that we had for the professions we had for black people. We don't have anymore. It's because they don't want us to have it, and like we, we saw that in, in the Black Wall Street, they that whole area was black owned. They had everything, and they were doing what they had to do. And, and that's when you get the white people feeling like, like, wait, they ain't doing something. Let's shut this shit down. And they do shit like they did in Tulsa. They 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 just destroyed that whole city because they saw that black people can't. coming up and building up and doing shit without them. So, like, not to say that we can't do it, but even if we, like, I, I think this, and this may sound fucked up, but it, it's, it's reality because the, the world is showing us that people are just racist as shit, especially white people, and they don't want black people building up and doing shit major. So if we were to start, if, if people were to care more about real careers versus basketball, being a celebrity and shit like that, and they actually wanted, like, real jobs that made real money and they worked hard to do them, everybody, like, not saying that all black people, but some people just want the fast money. They don't want to, to work hard and do go to school for years and get the education and do stuff. Like it does, and, and, and that's where our downfall is. You got a lot of a lot of people that, that don't don't want to go to college, that don't want to get a trade, that, that just want to make fast money. And if, and if, if we get these kids, our kids now, to go in college, aspire to be something more, we we might have a chance at making it again. But everybody's so quick. It's, it's hard to get financial. A lot of people can't afford college. It's so hard to get financial aid. It's like applying for scholarships and stuff like that. Like it's a lot of stuff that we need to put more effort in and do more and make and like get, push our kids to that level that they want to do something other than being on TV, you know, stuff like like not saying it's not making people money, but like respectable money, not selling your soul to to to, to have that thing to to really not do you no know, like but be on TV doing stupid shit like you know. Build something and like, build a career and, and, and make it, like I said, invest in yourself, invest in getting a house, invest in getting a car, invest in your future, invest in the career that you can pass down to your kids. Like, that's not happening nowadays. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. And now, and now let me what, ask though? you this. If you a lot build of that is not happening in a white community neither. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yes, you're absolutely but right. If you, <laughs> no, I mean, like, even though it's not happening ahead, in their up. community, if it, even though it's not happening in their community, 
they are in control of this culture, as a matter of fact, this globe. So I don't care what they, they don't have. they are money, whether they want it or not. Exactly. So what I'm saying is I, I, want, I want you all to answer this question. So the sister made a valid point. She said, build something so that you can leave something for your children, and they in turn can leave it for their children. So let's say this couple, this yeah. black couple, they get together. They buy a compound, let's say an apartment complex, and they have a house on the complex, and they, and they build up on that. They renovate it. Then they get a little, you know, business on the side. They both work. And when these parents retire, they tell their sons and their daughter, listen, this is yours. We've insured it. You know how to keep it up. You grew up with this. We want you to take care of it. Send your children to college. Teach your children a trade. You know what our tradition is. Two of those marry white folks. Now, when those people die and those children that are now biracial go marry other white people, where does that black wealth that was handed down go to? This is the question you need to ask yourself. Generational wealth will not go into the hands and lives of black children if you are not marrying black people. Again, you should be able to marry who you want, but you're not taking my money with you. See, that's the problem when other people marry successful black people, they walk off with the, with the purse. We see it time and time again. I don't even need to give examples. So how are we, yeah. we going to ever come up if we're not putting our monies, our love, and our energy into ourselves and our families? Sorry, I'm not giving my money off to, for them to go take off to some other people. No, I'm not, I, the Asians, they understand this game. You can call them racist if you want to, but they send their children to college selling us stuff and swap meat, fish, and all kind of little trinkets and shit. I ain't mad at them. I can't be jealous, and I'm not angry <laughs> with them. I got to take my right. hat off to them, okay? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, hold on, guys. We, 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 we have another caller. I want to get them on the air. Hold on, Sapphire, okay? Caller, you on the line with GST Radio? Hello? Caller, do you know you're on the line? Sorry about that. It's okay. Can you hear me? What's your name, brother? Oh, sorry. Yes, My name sir. is Damon. What's your name? Damon. All right. What you got for us? What All you right. got for us? You know what? You guys bring up some good topics and good points. Like, blacks back in the day did have their own economy back in Oklahoma before... Yeah. The, the white man blew it up. We did. We were starting something new where we could, you know, be ourselves and be left alone, be separate. But at the same time, I understand a lot of points uh, uh, one of the people made. Uh, I forgot what her name is. She brought out a good point about, you know, not interracially mixing with people, but you don't want to alienate those people who are your allies either. I'm not saying they need to know everything about our situations and what we're doing, but we don't want to, you know, deter them because we can have more allies that way in our fight to upbuild our own economy, our own people. I definitely agree. The brother used the right word. The brother used the right word, allies. That's what Malcolm X said. When they go in not similar, he's saying that you can yeah. contribute, but you can't be. Yeah, like you know. like the old, you know, people mix the saying up, your enemy's enemy, your enemy's enemy is your best friend. Keep your enemy's That's friend. not really the Yeah, saying. you keep your enemies closer really the than you be your friend. It's, yeah, yeah. I want to ask you guys enemy this. Enemy is your ally. Do you, do you guys know how valuable the Soul Train catalog is? You remember the Soul Train um uh, show that used to come yeah. on And then James yep. Brown's catalog Now you know James Brown's catalog is extremely Valuable correct Very. Both of those yeah. Both of those agencies are now In the hands of single white women Who those men were married to Now the James Brown um, it, There could it, 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 Let's just say that his It was left to his daughters They could have a foundation to send children to college for music or just something, all of that music 
all of that catalog, all of that, those holdings now go to this white woman, right? The same thing for Soul Train. That was a Russian woman who was, who she came to America and Don Cornelius married her. And he tried to cut her away from it, but he could not do it. He didn't, he knew he was dying. He didn't want her to have it, but she got it. And I believe she sold portions of it off. What I'm simply saying is I don't hate them. They could date who they want, but why didn't they take the precautionary measures to leave that wealth with someone, some black folks in their family? Because I'm going to tell you this, you, you will never see them leave their entire catalog to one of you. Never. I mean, I, I think I think that goes to to the point of of knowing how your how to manage your estate. That's all that means. I mean, you 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 if you know that what you have means more to the world than it does to your family, or then it then it can be handled better by a certain group than it can be handled by uh, a certain individual. Then you just need to know how to better you know handle that or better manage that. Um, we, we, we know in the past a lot of those singers, a lot of those organizations were were not handled by the, the, the best and brightest when it came to, you know, managing their own affairs. Um and and, and I, I get your point. I do get your point and I and I and I agree that that was mishandled and that should have been and it should be better handled in, in, in the current you know, state and situation if if that's the case. But, you know, I think that it's a lot um it's it's, it's a lot to say Again, in a generalization term, because not everybody's doing that. No, right? no, not everybody's. In not that not everybody. Not everybody's. I, and nobody. And not everybody. And not everybody is allowing the mismanagement of their estate <laughs> after it's after okay, it's done. Okay, no, no, sir. Some people I, have I done you. their due diligence to make sure. I, I got you, but do, do you know who Reginald Lewis is? You, you know that that was um, one of the one of the most prominent black billionaires, he he bought Beatrice. Do you know who he is? Do you remember him? Yeah, I heard no, him. I'm not familiar. Yeah, I heard okay, him. well, <clears throat> he died at 50. Brilliant man, brilliant man. He wrote a book, Why Should White Men Have All the Fun? He wrote this book for black men telling them how to acquire wealth and, and generational wealth. Now, this is the man who purchased Beatrice Company. That's huge. Now, he died young at 50, and his wife is a Filipino woman. And I'm telling you, I've never seen so many Filipinos and so much gold after that man died. They were just living in a lap of luxury. So, so again, it's not a small thing. You, you, you said, the, the, well, they just need to know. See, not everybody has that kind of money. Not everybody has a James Brown catalog. You need to understand the seriousness of this. We're talking about economics. I, uh, see, We're talking about rising see, this, this up. A, so you can't okay, just okay, so no, okay, so no, under okay, the table like that. Well, well, hello. But that's, a, but that's the point I'm trying to make. But the thing yeah, is, the, the thing is, even with that situation, I just, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I, the name didn't ring a bell with me, but I just looked him up real quick. That woman was actually a part of his business, so that's different. Again, he left, no, he left that not, to her oh because she was an advisor and I'm, I'm sorry, Do you think it's, she's going to take, you think what, she's gonna take that money? She, was, is she going to take that money to the black community or she's going to take it to her Filipino people? You you have got to be living on another hey, planet. That, that's up you think that, that woman that's, didn't give all okay, that money okay, to her I didn't, people? I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say what she was going to do with it. I don't know. I have nothing to do with that. My thing is, is and and I don't know what his plans were to do with it. Did he bring it to the black community? Did he exactly. spend it on raising exactly. raising black children up? Don't 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 downplay the woman because of what her husband. What you think her husband should have did? What was he doing? That's the question. If he was doing well, that's it, that's the question. That's what I'm letting you know. That's what I'm letting you know. This is why up, we're saying. Then, yeah, then that, that's a problem. But then that's a problem. This oh, is why thing. we are hold saying hold on. Hold on. generational that? wealth is important. This is brother. what we're talking about. Can I ask a question? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Where are our, the, where, where's our yeah. where's our leaders at? Did you ever notice that all our leaders are for some reason comedians? People who are puppets in the music industry, they are not our political leaders anymore. They are not 
people who are like Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King, and just because that uh, they've passed on and they had different ideals for where the black community should go, they their message was clear that we should be united. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, he had a dream that everybody could be get along and be fair and have a fair and just society. And Malcolm X had a different idea of when he started off of blacks not integrating with whites. And you no, know, it seemed like all our leaders and the messages are lost on these young people these days because the values have dropped ever since the passing of those that's two it. great men. That's young, and, and that's and that's what I, are you a parent? Are you a parent, boss? Yes, Damon. Yes, sir. Yes, parent of two. You, so, so guess what? Guess what? It's on me you are to show my kids yeah with the way exactly. it should go. Really? It, yeah, mm-hmm. but. But who? But they're right. you know influenced. You know, kids are influenced by what's popular, and this once again, and that's our jobs as parents to parent, not to be their best friend. I mean, you can have fun and sit down and play with your kids, but at the same time, you still need to mow and teach them, and not put an Xbox controller in their hand, TV, tablet, and all these other gadgets. They need to be molded. All, all that has been disappearing over the ages systematically due to racism, prejudice, mm-hmm. economics, and whatever else you can name, even our own faults. Somebody once told me that mm-hmm. a mistake said, is something you can get over. But, I mean, and like you said, it's because it's, it's they were puppets, right? You know, they. Right. Yeah. I mean, a, a, lot, right. a lot of that is, but, is from but, the puppeteering of, of, of. Go ahead. Sorry. Right. No, you go ahead, bro. So, I, I, I would say, yeah, it's, a, it's just the, the puppeteering of uh, of the system, right? You know, this this system that we're trying to fight, that we're that we're trying to go up against, and how it it's influencing and, and molding, unfortunately, the the minds of the youth and the minds of the, the generations. You know, uh, like Sassfire even brought up, you know, gangster rap came in at at one point and started to mold people in a certain way. You know, it creates this psychological damage that's being done to the community. Um, you know, like I say, I I think a lot. I think a lot of it is uh, uh, like Damon brought up, and, and I think Sunny brought up earlier as well, is that there's a lot of issues with the 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 focus and the leadership and and, and not you know lack thereof. Uh, and then like Sapphire and Clint brought up earlier is 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 the the the, the uh, reduction of of you know the the people who are doing what they're supposed to be doing, you know, they're not the, just the leadership, but the, the groups as a whole, you know, the, the whole community being behind uh, um, the, the vision and the focus. We have to, we just got to do better in that, right? We can't, we can't have this constant fight internally and, and not branch out and do what we need to do on the outside. We have to, you know, uh, I mean, Sapphire kind of, kind of said it best, I think, when, when she was saying about the whole, you know, we have to, we have to, Go back to to where we know how to make things. Know how to make things. We know we we need to go to a, a system where we have a community that actually is a community, a, a full community, right? You know, in so many words, basically, we need to be a community. We need to we need to be able to say, you know, we we can stand on our own, and and, and without that, that's you know, that's one of the biggest problems, you know. And I think that you know, uh, genera- generationally, we have to teach this to our children. Because that's where we were getting lost, you know. Not to say that everybody didn't teach that coming from the seventies and the sixties and the fifties. They weren't, you know. Not that they all weren't teaching it, but in general, it was it was getting lost. And and as as the years have gone by, we're continuing to lose it. I mean, I mean, well, I think we can all agree the 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 the, the mass majority of teenagers and young adults are missing the point of what. Even the the civil rights movement was about, let alone our 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 current struggles. So there's a lot there that still needs to be, uh, and and a lot of them think that we that we won somehow, that we that we're at a point where we where we should be, right? You know, and that's what I was saying. I was going to get to this later. Is that I think the the problem that we had in the '70s is that a lot of people thought we won, and definitely in 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 the last 20 years, you know, especially with Obama going into office, a lot of people really thought we won. Like we haven't won anything. We still we still in the struggle. 
we still having issues because we still need to 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 get to a finish line. We we haven't even gotten to them to to a to a legitimate milestone yet. You know what I mean? I mean we got some, some good milestones in the past, but you know we spent the last seventy years you know still w- w- without a, a a further progress made in our struggle. You know, so there's a lot that still well, needs to be done. Let me a ask lot you that still needs to be taught. I mean, I hold, hold on, Sapphire. You hold mentioned on, Sapphire, that we got we about to wrap it up. Oh, don't tell we're about to wrap it up because we've got 15 minutes left. So what we, so what I want to do is I want, I want everybody to get their closing points in real quick. No interruptions. About a minute, minute and a half apiece. Uh, Sapphire, then Damon, then Sonny, then uh, Willie, you can go again. Okay, okay. can, can you to, time me, please? Can you time me, please? Because <laughs> I don't have it. Don't watch in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to go real quickly. I'm going to answer his question with my last statement. You said that we need to, we you agree with me that we need an economic base, right? So if we have that economic base, if we have communities where we have our own stores, where we make our own goods and sell to other communities, okay, and people of other nationalities, <clears throat> that will garner respect for us. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you can't get that respect always scraping and bowing and begging for someone else. I'm simply saying us first. Us first. That's all I'm saying. Your family, your people first. I'm not saying don't like anybody else. You can marry who you want, but you need to go over to their family because we can't afford that right now. We can't do that. Take it from the Chinese. They send their children to school. They buy huge churches, huge complexes. They say they own up a lot of America because they do what? They put themselves first. They don't care about voting. They're not trying to be in the political system. They're not trying to run for office. You never see them doing that. And when they build their own grocery stores, they only sell food that is conducive to their diet. You understand what I'm saying? But they sell us the trinkets. We need to wake up, wake up, black man, black woman, thinking intelligently and as adults and not children. I yield the mic. Thank you. Thank you, Oh, we appreciate you so much, Sapphire. Uh, Damon? Yes. Uh, we need to adjust oh. our thinking. We need to, just like Sapphire said, about having critical thinking. We need to think about ourselves. We need to think about our families first, uh, us family, family head, heads of households. We need to be there for our children. As men, we need to step up. We need to stop looking at these fads and these systems of systems, uh uh, what's out here in this world? What's the fad today? We need to think about the fad of our life and our families first, and come a, come with that as a community. We gonna do well with the community. We can up- build each other as black men and women. Stop degrading our women. Stop sexually assaulting women, and we can uh, we can do better with ourselves. That's all the time I had. So. All right, that was perfect, by the way. Appreciate you. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Uh, and my point, my 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 take this whole discussion. It was a great discussion, by the way. Thank you guys for calling in. But um, I want to say that we need to build each other up and not tear each other down. We need to um, commune and versus this um, disagree and and fight each other. We need to. Find out, like, get together, get our solutions together, and put them and put effort and and make movement and progress and move forward. Um, definitely, we need to hold our women, our black women, as a high degree because we, we we dealt with a lot. We we even black men have dealt with a lot, but black women are the mothers. We raise these kids as long as well as with our fathers, but we we are the backbone to to the black family. So respect and all that. That's a lot of stuff. Well, you want to say something else for you? Um, I just I just want to say um, let's let's ride or die for each other. You know, let's 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 get behind each other like 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 the Republicans do. They let's let's find a, let's find a common cause. Let's find a common people and let's do what they do and, and and ride for them and make sure that we have you know all of our energies behind a, a cause that progresses our people. You know what I'm saying? And and even if even if we have Two, maybe three different causes. You know, you know, it, it's not a race to the finish. It's just, it's just a race to to keep us alive, and that's what I think we need to do. And I think, you know, 
I, I agree with Damon. I agree with Sapphire. I agree with, with Sonny. We, you know, we have a lot that still needs to be done. We still need to to be uh, better um, as a, you know, as a people in terms of doing for ourselves, uplifting our community, uh, and teaching our children. That's you know, you know me. That's that's the number one thing I talk about is you got to teach your you got to teach your kids to to do better than what we're we're doing and what they're doing, and, and that's most important. All right, I guess. I- I guess I can close it out. But I I feel like these conversations are much needed. And for me, they're much appreciated. You feel mm-hmm. me? I feel like, you know, we have to we have to disagree to be able to agree. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have to, because that's the only way we're going to under, be able to understand each other if we, if with proper communication. And I feel like these type of dialogues, you know, opens up, up, up the line of communication between the black man and the black woman first because, you know, I don't hold one in more esteem than the other. You feel me? I'm a black man, so, of course, I love the black woman and I hold her up. And hopefully the black woman loves me just as much and hold me up. You feel me? I think that should be our number one pri- priority is self-love. I feel like it's a lot of, you know, self-hate, and, yeah. and, and animosity towards each other. And I think that before we can move forward, before we can even get into a, a, a fight <laughs> with anybody, mm-hmm. we have to correct that first. Or we're just, you know what I mean, we're just fighting the lost cause. You know, we're just blowing, that, blowing in the wind, so to speak. So I feel like I love these conversations. You feel me? To me, there's really... You know, like Willie has his stance on some. Sapphire has her stance. Damon has his stance. You had I don't consider any stance wrong, mm. so to speak, because we could all come to a common ground and to a common understanding. And I think the common ground here and the common understanding is progression, priorities. You feel me? Uh, Willie was making a point earlier about, you know, we got to know how to play the game. You feel me? A lot of us kids, you go ask kids in, where we from in the slums about wills, insurance, and stuff like that. They don't even know. You know, so that's part of what Sapphire was talking about, about generational wealth. Like, we have to educate ourselves. You feel me? To Damon's point, he was talking about where are the leaders. You are a leader, my brother. You feel me? You are a king. You are the, you are the leader. You are the leader we need. Really the same thing. Sunny, the same thing. Sapphire, the same thing. For me, the same thing. We are the leaders. It's, it's, it's not going to be one person that comes that's going to save us. It's just not going to happen. We have to save ourselves. And the only right. way we can save ourselves is to love ourselves unconditionally. We have to deal with hard truths. Like Damon said, we have to... Yes. Yes, Lord. Like the brother Damon said, we have to stop denigrating our women. Yeah. Black women, y'all have to stop, you know what I mean, thinking we hate y'all. We don't love y'all. You feel me? Stop listening to those who, who, who spew that nonsense. Don't give them no energy. When you feed that negative energy, it just <clears throat> expounds. <clears throat> feed the positive. Love those who love you. And, you know, right. let's start there. And then we can, we can, once we get there, once we, you know, once you learn to love yourself, certain certain shit you're just not going to accept. <laughs> you know what I mean? Certain things you're just not going to accept. Yeah. That's bad for you because you love yourself too much. And then once as a community, as a whole, as a whole black family, we learn to love ourselves unconditionally. A lot of this stuff we put up with, we will not accept. And then we can move forward. And that's it. That's the hell of a way to have yourself. Yeah. So I want to uh, uh, give yeah, out thank our... Thank you uh, again, Sapphire and Damon. Yeah. Appreciate y'all calling me in. Yes, Lucy absolutely. Gold. This is a, very, a very wonderful insightful. conversation. Very, very. Uh, our information, you know, y'all can catch us at com. That's our website. Uh, you can catch us on Twitter, GFT underscore radio, 
We're on iTunes. We're on SoundCloud, uh, YouTube. Uh, Willie, Google Play you Music. Out your information? Yeah, Google Play Music, excuse me. Uh, right, right, Google. Yeah, Google us. We everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give out the Teespring inf- the, uh, information, uh, Sonny. Oh, teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash GFT radio. Get y'all some shirts. Get y'all some definite merch. Every All the proceeds go to support this podcast. Pay for all the We got to pay for that. Y'all don't know what we pay for. But some of y'all who run the past podcast, y'all know what we pay for. So, support. Give out, uh, y'all want to give out your right. information? All right. Yeah, this is your boy, Willie Styles. Uh, once again, you can catch me everywhere at Willie Styles. That's S T Y L E Z. And um, I'm WillieStyles.info. And don't forget my uh, music podcast uh, or my music blog, rather, uh, StylesRadio.com. Check me out. Sunny? Of course, I am Sunny underscore D, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. You can also follow me on my blog. I'm reservedly me.com. Check that out. I'm doing the dope ass uh, photo uh, block count this, this month. So I'm almost there. Y'all know y- y'all catch me on my uh, blog site, akingstruth.com. I'm on Snapchat at akingstruth. Uh, Instagram, Clint Black. That's C L I N T B L A Q. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Good people. We love y'all. Nice. Appreciate y'all for listening. Nice. Catch y'all in seven days. Appreciate y'all. Long live joy. With great deals to close out the year on Ram 1500 at the Ram Big Finish event. It's the time of year we celebrate the joy of being with our families and communities. And the perfect time to have Ram 1500's available class exclusive four corner air suspension, which gives you the ability to raise or lower the truck with the push of a button. Hurry in today to the Ram Big Finish event. Class based on light duty pickups. Ram is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC.